Hey there everyone, I'm the Penny Pinching Prepper and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who have uh, been following me for a while and for those of you who are new, welcome. Uh, we're going to do part three of the security alarm. Uh, the perimeter security alarm, excuse me. Um, had a little glitch last week uh, with my camera, lost the end of the recording, had to start all over. So here's the end, the part that you missed, basically where we stopped off. Uh, guys, we had just got done screwing that center screw in, making sure that, of course, that it's good and flush. You see it's, it's below there. One of the other things I did... Um, just to be on the safe side is I added added some glue down at the bottom of the part that goes around the, the arm to help keep it down so it doesn't raise um, I noticed after about 20 tw somewhere between 20 and 30 tries on one of these the arm started inching up um, so I trying to figure out a way to keep that from happening I'm hoping gluing it down will so Maybe that's something you guys yourselves might want to mess with. Maybe leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of. Um, so once we get that down, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn to... No, sorry. Our eye hole screws or whatever they're called. These little guys here. All right. I'm starting to run low on these. I'm going to have to get more. So you're going to need three of them and a drill bit that's as small as it or smaller than the diameter of the, uh, the end there. All right. I don't have one small. These are uh, not what I would normally use. I would use ones that are a little bit thicker, but like I said, I'm running low. So this is the same size. It'll work. We'll just use a little glue and it'll hold them in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend the arm back. All right, and hopefully if you did that right, the arm should sit just below when you bend it back. The uh, the notches here, just below this section here, you'll you'll see how it sits just down below there. All right, and now on the opposite end of your little arm here, the little spring arm that holds the spring down. So on the opposite end on this end over here or no yeah yeah this end over no cut <laughs> i'm confusing myself okay on the same side as the arm that's pointing towards the uh, section we're going to be working on which is when you flip it over all right it's going to be on that same side uh so we're going to flip it over so that it's covering that arm and we know that's the side that we're going to be working on and what we're going to do, this is kind of a hard one for me to do on camera, I'm going to do my best, is we want to find, oh, my thumb's in the way. A way to mark that so that we're going to be able to do one on the outside and one on the inside um actually hold on i can give you an example so here's the one i lost the footage for all right and you'll see how these three are lined up right here and when you bend it over lines up on the opposite end of this stuff that I have the gray on. Um, 
but you'll see that the arm just barely goes between one on each side. There's just enough space to twist the eye holes around. All right, that's what we're shooting for. So when you do that, you want to bend the arm back, line them up, press them down and get you little marks, all right? And after you get the little marks, you'll drill through. So give me one second and I'll do my first one. Now you don't have to use the pencil, I just did it so you can see it a little bit easier how I, I marked it there, alright? And then what we're going to do is take that itty bitty little drill bit and we'll run her through. Oh, I got a little bit off there. So now once you do that, you'll take a little dab of your glue and put that down in there. Now, when you're doing this, you want to try to keep it as close to the top of your uh, your mouse traps here as you can without it getting weak. You might have to go and like cut the the edge off and trim it up. Um, as you see, I had to do that on this one. You see how I kind of trimmed the corners up, and that was so it could get low enough for the mechanism to work. Now I'm going to finish my other two up and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Alright guys, so when you get all done, it should look something like that. Now it's still wet so it's going to run. So I can't hold it like that for too long. but It's going to look like that. Now I've already went and looked at it and for me I'm going to have to trim a little bit. I'm not getting down there low enough um, to run the uh, the pin through. So I'm going to have to take a second, carve that down just a little bit. I'll get back to you in one moment. All right, so the next thing that we're going to want to do is take the, the one little arm that I told you to hold on to, guys, this little guy right here. Um... We're going to take it and we're going to just kind of guess, sort of, about how much we need to get it just at the edge, all right? And then we'll cut it. Now, better to cut twice. Um, so if it's, don't try to get it perfect you can always take a little bit off which I've got to do here I got to take just a little bit off and this is just a pair of multi tools with some uh, wire cutters that I'm using this is just some cheap material that cuts pretty easy. Now once you've got that, what you'll want to do, um, better to wait for it to dry than do it wet. 
I'm just doing it wet so I can show you guys and we can move on to the next step is go ahead and place that pin in there locking it back like that and then can get to the one side to where it's it's facing um, towards the, the leg or whatever um, so off, off to this end here right the same end that it's on and what we'll do is we're gonna do a little drill here gotta get a little bit of glue out of the way Because we're going to set a, um, they're calling um, wire brad, and this is 7 eighths of an inch, um, uh, number 18, all right, so once again, if you can get one, a, a drill bit that's smaller than the nail that you're using, or brad in this case um bonus if not we'll glue it we'll dry it it'll be all good now the whole point of these is you see how it almost has no head on it but it does have a teeny bit of a head that's that's the key here so we're gonna come down through here and we're gonna make our mark And then we'll scoot that out of the way. Now we want to make sure that when we're doing it, that it's able to go over the nail. All right. So place it in a, in a manner to where it's going to go over that nail. Or Brad, excuse me. Another little dab of glue. Now this stuff, when it, it dries, guys, if you've never worked with it, um, it does uh, harden. So, no real stresses there. So, I didn't quite align it right, and it's not going over um, the way that I want it to. My drill bit is just a teeny bit longer, than, or uh, wider than the, uh, the brad I had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for that to dry. And then I'm just kind of going to bend it back a little bit so that it's it's able to fit into place. That's your locking mechanism, that little pin. So make sure that you get it in there right, okay? It's kind of it's not kind of important. It, it'll really help you in the long run. Do you need it? No, you don't. But it'll help. You'll appreciate it. So make sure you put it in there. Now the reason I I drilled instead of just hammering in is. More than likely, if you went and got the trim or found trim, like I said, um, to make it easy, when you go to hammer it in, it's going to want to split. <clears throat> and you don't want it to split. That's why we're pre-drilling everything. So, now what's next to do is pull the pin and let it go and maybe gently snap it a couple of times to make sure that it's good and centered and uh, what we're gonna do is we are now gonna take our 
number six half inch um, steel metal screw. I know it's in reverse, but if you want to get a look, that's how it is. And what we're going to do, and I'm going to pause in a second, is we're going to make where uh, the flathead screwdriver can get in there. We're going to make that a little bit bigger. So hold on one second, I'll get back to you. All right, guys, so what we're wanting to do here, get some of the stuff out of the way. Let's take that screw and put it in a pair of pliers of some sort that it'll fit in nice like that so we can get our fingers clean out of the way. And you can take a hacksaw, a file. I'm going to use my little Dremel tool and we're going to make that a little wider and a little deeper. Um, but do not go over... Um, to the point where you don't have little edges we're trying to just make that little that little valley there deeper and wider okay so that it will fit this down in there real well not this it's actually going to be this bar right here um can go down in that valley real nice and easy all right so this is noisy, I'm gonna pause it. It's time, well not real super time consuming, but a little time consuming, and I'm gonna pause you for it. All right, so when it gets all done, you should, it should be uh, nice and bigger, and you can really see it now. And you should be able to bring that over like that, okay? And then what we're gonna do is on the side that has the uh, spring attached to the arm here is you're going to put it underneath as close as you can get it to the corner and as nice and up and down as you possibly can like so Oops, sorry I guess I'm up out of range right see how it's as close to the corner as I can possibly get it all right you should be able to now push that down you can give it a little tap with something and that's gonna give you your mark point for some drilling all right it must have shifted let me reset that real quick guys Okay, there we go. Nice and good on the corner, All right? So I keep reminding or forgetting to tell you guys, but this little part right here, just whack it off with the hacksaw, file, your little Dremel tool. I'm going to take care of mine here in a second. Um, so find out which cartridge you're going to use. All right. And then you'll, by attaching it to the end, find the one that's the exact same size. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to center the drill bit with the little teeny tiny hole. And you're going to drill a hole through it. The easiest way to do it is to do it with your legs on. All right. Um. Uh, I'm going to pause the video real quick, do that, and I'll get back to you in a moment. <laughs> Alright guys, so when you get all done, I'm, you should have a nice little hole like that. That fits your cartridge. Um, so, I uh, cut the end of mine off with a wheel because sometimes when you're um, getting uh, the projectile out, that uh, it widens the hole up so i have uh, i've cut it off so it'll get down in there 
and uh, just using these matchsticks to hold the leg on. I actually made this one a little looser this time so that hopefully the spray paint won't wear off when I do it. So it should go in like that. Now this is a spent one, you see that, and it actually makes your life a little easier if you have a spent one. Um, <clears throat> for this next part, so bottom's all cleaned up, got that nail or uh, screw head gone. Everything's lined up like that. You see I got it in there to where the little locking mechanism will go on and off. Okay. Once you have all that done, we'll uh, take the firing pin out, or not the firing pin, the uh, trip pin, the action pin. How did I manage that? Looks like I might have gotten it off quite a bit, guys. This might end up being a dud. Let's see. Maybe I'm just seeing things strange. No, well, I got into a rush and screwed everything up, guys. That's all right. Hopefully you guys got yours done right and I can go through. As you can see, I didn't get it lined up right. So um, that's all right. I'm just take this apart and redo it. It's no big deal. Uh, eventually, not today. <clears throat> but so what you want to do is line that firing pan up. Gosh, that's way off. How did I get so far off? I have no idea how I got so far off, guys. I've made like four of these, and this is the first one I've messed up on. All right, so, so that the firing pin is direct center of the, uh, of the, uh, the cartridge there. All right, now I might actually still be able to get this to work, but usually when it's at an angle, it doesn't want to work real well. It, it really wants to work best straight up and down. So you get it in that corner as close as you can. You get it all centered, all nice and everything, and then it's... Time for the uh, high heat um, JB weld. All right. And uh, get my junk knife out for this. Cut yourself off a little, little bit. I usually cut off a lot more than I need just to be on the safe side. You guys can try to be as generous or as stingy as you like but that's about what I get not a ton but not so little that I can't figure out what I'm or make sure that I got enough to work with so I mix this stuff all up guys it'll change colors make sure that the color is a nice even blend that there's not a marble effect going on. So, um, you'll notice that when you start to work it, it'll start to feel like it's warming up. That's the chemical agent working in it. All right. <clears throat> so once it's really starting to get warm and you can really feel it by out of, without a doubt you have uh mixed it enough so you'll see it kind of comes out all one color and it's lighter um trying to get some of that out from under some got stuck underneath my nail all right so what you want to do is apply it in like a corner shape, all right? And that's what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna apply it to the corner like that. And the reason being is so this pin won't 
end up breaking loose from the metal and moving because you've got two opposing sections. So we'll put that on there. When you're doing this, guys, make sure you get that back section really good and flat because when it swings back, you might even have to sand it down to make sure that it the, the leg over here doesn't get in the way. All right. So I'm going to work with this for a minute. I got plenty of time. We'll get back to you in one second. All right, guys. Okay, guys. So when you get all done, you'll see I made it really nice and flat at the top. I tried really hard to get that back side over here as flat as I could. Like I said, you might have to end up sanding that or whatever. Um, all the bulk is going to be on the inside. And as you see, I, I've got the corner there. So there's no way for this to ever want to, the, the firing pin to ever want to sway back and forth. It, it locks it in. All right. So <clears throat> the next thing you want to do, and I'm not going to walk you through it because at this point, it's going to be your imagination. Sky's the limit. Um, you can do things like uh, take more of these eye hole screws and you can like screw them down here at the bottom so that there's a way to screw it into something with some other types of screws. You can drill holes in it anywhere you want as long as it's out of the way of the, the out of the way of the, the cartridge there. Um, to run string through it and tie it. Um, the, the imagination is going to be left up to you guys. Um, if you go back and look in the first video, um, you'll, you'll see how I, I did it. Um, so you can do that. And then the other thing is, is this is going to take probably close to 20 to 25 minutes completely dry. Um, the longer it dries, the stiffer it gets. It starts out really pliable and gets stiffer and stiffer. Um, ha -ha. Um, so keep working it um, and making sure that it's centered and squishing it around the bar and, and shaping it. Um, it'll get easier to shape it as you go. Um, and it'll really get it nice and secure around the, the bar so that there's no playroom. After that, spray paint it and uh, the, the little trip pin that we made, you know, find some sort of thread um, like a spider wire or a Teflon thread or fishing line to attach to that. Run it to a different tree so that you have a trip line and... Bada boom, bada bang. There it is, guys. Um, I hope you're able to get it right the first time. Uh, I know I messed up a little bit. You'll see that my firing pin is kind of at an angle. And like I said in my first video, if you go back and watch it, that I did that the first time, too, and it didn't work. Um, I've since then made like three or four of them, three, three of them. And I've done just right every time till now. Uh, so guys, uh, if you have any comments, anything you'd like to add, um, any questions, anything like that, leave it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new and learned something, consider subscribing. Um, guys, hopefully from here on out, things will get a little better on the, the videos. Um, I'll be able to hopefully do things that I wasn't able to before. So looking forward to the next one with you guys and uh, take care. And I hope this video catches you all in good spirits. Remember God's good and God bless and have a wonderful day.